Hello champions, we're gonna do a preview for a brand new character. It's the character we're gonna have a trial for. It is the Anki Tonk Man All of Fame. He is a technician. I'm gonna see him at five star bronze. His coach ability at 12,000 is blue moves deal 25% more damage. And he has links with other All of Fame character and no gear. All right, whoops. So the first move set we're gonna have a look at is the green one and both purples one and two. It is the shake rattle and roll 10 MP green move finisher deals 71.5k damage. Choose six multiplied gems to destroy and pin the opponent. The elbow drop 7 MP purple move deal 45.7k damage and choose a two by six area to destroy. And a scoop slam, a 7 MP purple move, deal 51.2k damage, and choose 3 rows to make into multiply gems of strain 2. Now the trainers we'll use for that is woods to start with purple, 4 more purple, mat so that our uh, multiply gems are going to be 4 instead of 2. Lacy so that both purple and green are going to do 20% more damage. And a Cena tech so that greens are gonna do 10% more. If Cena was 9k, it would be 15, but mine is not maxed yet, so it's gonna be 10% at 7.2. Let's do this. We're gonna go versus Drew. If we check the bonuses, he has 46.42% to 41.42% gem mitigation. He has 18% mitigation on moves. On my end, I'm going to have 15% more L. Gem do 15% more damage from the feud bonus. Gem do 10% more damage and 10% more L from all Hall of Fame characters. Take 10% less from all color move that's standard. And MLC bonus of 20% more health. All color start with three more MP and charge plus two. And there's the class advantage of 25. Let's do this. All right. Let's pick those. Now we're going to pick a 2x6 area. So we're going to pick the area here where we got the purples because that's going to reload our moves. And we're going to get a bonus green there. Same thing again. And get again a bunch of purples and one green. Could have gone for the greens here too. that again this time we're gonna be more uh, selective or actually are we no we're not <laughs> I was gonna say we're gonna pick those we want but I mean we got almost a whole area here with a bunch of purples and green 
So we'll, we'll still use this. Basically, you don't seem to need the finisher that much. Like you can use the finisher if you really don't have a good 2x6 area to select. Then you can be more selective and pick those, but yeah, I think we're gonna try something else instead of the finisher. Because it is useful if you really got bad placement, but if you don't, let's try something else. All right, small variation to that. Instead of using the green one, we're going to use the green tree, which is the five star move. It is the arm drag one MP green move, deal 23.7K damage and increase the strength of your multiply gems by one. I think this is going to be much more effective, especially since costing one, we'll be able to use it every turn. So yeah, same trainers, not changing anything else except the move. Right. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's pick this. Actually, no, let's pick this. Now we're gonna increase their strength. Okay, let's do this again. Now we got a couple of sixes. That did a nice chunk. And he did not get out of that. Oh, we had a nice area here if we had another turn. I definitely like this much better than the previous one. Alright, let's look at something completely different now. Alright, another move set. This time it's going to be green 2 along with black 1 and 2. It is the eye rake, 6 MP green move, deal 44.2k damage and destroy 5 random black gems. The diving fist drop, 6 MP black move, deal 41.8k damage and choose 4 gems to make into green gems. And the atomic drop, 1 MP black move, deal 23.7k damage and make all green gems into multiply gems of strength 2. Trainers for that, we're going to use Bray Wyatt so that we start with more black. We're going to keep using Matt Hardy so that we're having multiplies by four. We keep using uh, Lacey Event so that we get 20% for the greens. And I don't have Scott Hall Hall of Fame, so I'm going to be using Ogun to generate an extra green. If you have Scott Hall, obviously, you'll get that extra green plus 5% damage, but I don't. Uh, you could also, since we do have perks right now, you could forego using uh, Bray Wyatt and instead use Rezzer. That way you would be making more greens and it would just take you basically one extra turn. So that's one thing to think of. So let's try this. Right. So let's convert all greens. And now we're going to try to connect as many as we can. Which in this case is actually not really hard. <laughs> That's going to connect all of them except one. And can I actually do it some other way? 
And let's do this. And we're still going to be missing one. And it's a decent amount. Destroy some blacks. Let's do this again. Now we don't have a lot of greens this time. We have enough to match all of them because again they're pretty close to each other. That still did still did quite a decent amount of damage. This worked out better than I expected it would. Although we had very good placement. <laughs> all right, let's uh, see if we can figure out something else. Alright, well that's pretty much it as far as moves and I guess you could use maybe the arm drag instead of the eye rake. Although doing that you would not recycle your black moves. So that would definitely make this harder. I guess you could also use the first two moves that we tried and uh, for the third move with the purples maybe use the atomic drop that converts all the greens. That could work too, but I would only use that before 5 star. At 5 star I would still use the arm drag that increase the multiply gem because you can do it over and over every turn. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, he's effective, moveset worked really well. Doesn't dish out that huge numbers, but I mean, we still managed to get 300. But I mean, there's characters that do a lot more than that, so I wouldn't make him third top tier. But I'd say he's a strong tier two uh, character for sure, uh, and with a good board, maybe a tier 1.5. But uh, yeah, that's it for Anki Tonk Man Hall of Fame. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions? Ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia.